Hey everybody, welcome back to another uh, reaction. You already know, Royal Rose game. And this time it is Triple Z's special program 1.3. And I don't know what's gonna be happening this one. Well, obviously, <laughs> what I'm talking about, obviously I don't know what's gonna be happening. Obviously, I'm gonna be reacting to it, which will and giving my, you already know, sense my um comment um commentary on what I'm what I'm gonna be excited about. Are we gonna get any new story? Any uh, what else events and all that stoked for? And as y'all can see, it's only thirty four minutes, so it's not gonna be that long. So, well, we're gonna see because y'all know I'm, it probably gonna be long because me pausing and all that and yapping. Yeah, but I do. We do know the characters that are coming though. Which one of them is part of the um in the last patch one point two, which we got Bernice and Caesar, the, um their other um member of the gang, which is lighter. He is coming in this patch, y'all, and I am stoked and I cannot wait to get him. Cause they show obviously they showed his drip marketing a while back ago, and I'm like he coming. Oh, that's a male. I think this is their first um male limited male character they dropped, and I'm like yes, finally. Of course, I love my girlies. I know I love my girlies down. For but I'm like, oh, where, where the hot mail at? Where the hot mail at? When? And finally, we, we're getting um lighter coming. So I'm, I'm stoky stoked. So yeah, but um, let's get into it. Neo and Posse Music, let go. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that's loud. <laughs> but before I get into it, I almost forgot. If y'all want to see my other reactions or the last reaction 1.2, I'll uh, put the thing up there for y'all to um, check out if y'all want to see me react to the 1.2 version. I think, do I, do I, I don't have a uh, reaction playlist. I think I need to make a playlist of all my reactions to all the reverse ones. If ever y'all want to um, go back and watch any reactions of mine. I, yeah, I need to make that playlist. I'm, I'll put it up there. Future me, y'all gonna see it up there. Future me got y'all. I'll put it like a um, playlist of reactions of the Hoyo versus games and their versions. If y'all want to um, hear any of my two cents or anything on previous versions, and all that, I'll put it up there for y'all. But yeah, and also if y'all um want to catch these live because y'all know I do be streaming me streaming these um reactions live, but obviously I record them. So y'all can have them to watch whenever. Well, y'all can watch the streams whenever too, because they always stay up permanently on um two channel. But yeah, if you want to um catch these more well, all this sh the stuff that I cut out of the video for y'all for not well, uh, from y'all <laughs> y'all. <laughs> if y'all want to check out when I do these live, I'll um the streaming my um tube well my um Twitchy and tube because I stream on the tube as well multi stream on Twitch and the tube but twitch is my main stream problem it's always in the um, description for y'all below and also to the social if you want to follow me on there and such so yeah but now let's now let's get into the um the ver the um special program hi there proxies welcome to the zenless zone zero special program Great to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. And next to me is... Hello, Lady Meow. We're live now. Not Lady Meow. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest updates. <clears throat> we truly appreciate your support. Why so serious, Mr. Z? You're not nervous because this story is about Section 6 this time, are you? Not at all. Section 6 is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching over us. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but for the average person, Section 6 is definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Mm-hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to Section 6, we have to first introduce HAND, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. 
<clears throat> Let's not put it that way. Although there are high level organization involved in city administration, HANT mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As a specialized agency, HANT needs its own armed forces, which is why they established hollow special operations. Uh, so, this is a new area we're gonna have added onto now. Okay, oh, okay. Very sterile, very sterile, very um clean, obviously. <laughs> And Section 6 is the sixth unit of HSO. That's right. Section 6 has built quite the reputation since its establishment and gained a lot of respect among the public. Though, under normal circumstances, few get the chance to interact with them. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6 is undeniably skilled. Okay, come on, Pose. Oh, yeah, also, too, she's one of the characters that got your market as well. I forgot her name. Y'all y'all see, I was more excited about a hot man. Y'all know. Y'all know. The wrist says it is as already. But but she pretty, too. Yeah, yeah as I say. I love my girl least as well, but I'm like, so pretty. But the hot man, the hot male coming out, I was more excited about. But we like she's just looking back like yes. Yeah, and we'll definitely rescue you. But it's also a curse, since the team members are all pretty eccentric. So you still better hope for the best. Well, you aren't wrong about that, Lady Meal, but don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. Not normal. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Yanagi. Okay, that's her, that's her name. Yanagi. Ah. Everyone knows now that HSO section. Big old boobies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Big old boobies. <laughs> Y'all seen the jiggle, the, jiggle, the jiggle physics right there? Big boobies. And that corset to just snitch ways. Section 6 is part of Hans Armed Forces, and that the team members are all highly capable fighters. The founder and team leader, Ms. Hoshimi Miyabi, is particularly. Hoshimi Miyabi. Hoshimi Miyabi? Hoshimi Miyabi. Hey, I know, I know some people are probably waiting for her to get, um, come into the game. Well, be playable. She's already in the game, but playable because. I wonder when she gonna be in the next version 1.4 or a later one. I know some people are stoked for her because in the beta, she was unplayable um, and people um, really liked her. So I'm like, when she when they gonna drop her on the banner? Exceptional, but it's Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. <laughs> You could put it that way, but she if you want good. to know yeah, more, good. let's play the VCR. Not thirsty as. <laughs> oh, we've seen the trailer for 1.3. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. But logo, it's... Here, I can fail countless times, but you can afford a single mistake! Hurting people like this, the special monster we're looking for must be you. Ooh, come on, music! Oh, come on! Oh! Oh wait, they ate her up and now oh, yeah, oh I see okay. Ooh, pretty gorgeous. There's nothing else to say about her. Oh we see my oh we see a lighter we see lighter next. Wait, let's see. I lighter of the sons of Kalanon. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. deal with you 
fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? And you're going down with me! Get out of there! Soki Shiro Yanagi! Okay. So much was happening in the um the trailer. So I seem like we got a, we're, we're getting a new story or a chapter or something or interlude chapter or something like that. Well, they'll say it probably, but I'm like, okay. Some it looks like some um bad guys are infiltrating something, and we we'll have to like figure it out and stop them somehow. So okay. Wow, that was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? I wonder what happened. Oh, the girlies were fighting? Oh, I, I said so much was happening, child. I was like, ooh, they were fighting. Happened. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Mail, why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an Intel broker too, you know. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Wanna listen? <laughs> what? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. How are you having a conversation with the recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it, hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand, to deal with hollow disasters. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Section 6 operates smoothly under our Chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling minor tasks when needed. Our team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents, and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. Ooh, her eyes is got it dark. just my imagination, or did the room just get colder? <laughs> Must be your imagination. But I can tell this family would fall apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Could it be related to the new equipment? Ah, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves when we get to experience the new special episode. Anyway, thank you for sharing. Okay, this is a new special episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's what they're called. Special episodes. Like, I think how we had with um, Jane Doe. We had, like, a special episode or some sort. Oh, was it a special? I think it, was, yeah, it said special episode, I think. Not another chapter, so it's a, it's another, it's a special episode. Okay. Gucci. Sharing Miss Yanagi. Oh, also, too, yo, this art is so pretty of her. Her, her hair down. Oh, snap. Gorgeous. I can't believe I didn't know about this intel. I have failed as an intel broker. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Wait, in the outer ring? What's an outer ring? R really? Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torridi Inferno has concluded, the story of a certain champion remains untold. After the Torti Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with Lighter now. Yes. And as the champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. 
Sporting his leather jacket accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. He is. But the question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. Oh, of but course you do. there must be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Yes. Hello, Mr. Lighter. Hello. Hey, Lighter. Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? If there's a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Huh? That's it? <laughs> of course he owed Big Daddy a favor. <laughs> I see. As expected of Mr. Lighter, straightforward and honest. Thanks. Speaking of which, the Tour d'Inferno is over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called Settlement Days in the Outer Ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal, but... In recent times, Settlement Days is more like a festival, and it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the Overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Lighter? Oh, look at that. Certainly seems so. See you around. Ah, and there he goes. That didn't take long, and he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon are taking Settlement Days very seriously. <laughs> but like Lighter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Lighter's agent story... <gasps> he got an agent story? Not them using that photo of him. <laughs> oh, wait, not that photo. I meant this art. I'm like, oh, wow, that looks so good. I mean, the one with him um and his fist. Well, let me try to point. On the far left, I meant him with his fist. We get to learn a little bit more about um lighter, yes. Is that blood he's showering in? I wonder. But yeah, I'm stoked for his um agent story. Y'all know we're gonna be playing it. I play some I gotta play some other ones as well. I might include some other ones as well in there. Cause usually they're not that long of agent stories. So I probably can like Throw some other ones as well when uh, when I do his. But yeah, but we're gonna do my we're gonna do my man's one. And not just about he's okay. He's not like on. I'm like, of course he's not like on. Like on, he's still still my um still he is still my furry man. He wouldn't have came home twice if he wasn't. But we just now we adding light, um lighter now to the rock with them as well, and he's not yours. You'll receive an invitation from the Sons of Caledon to participate in this outer ring celebration. As the settlement days begin, everyone in the Sons of Caledon is goofing around. Meanwhile, Lighter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However. As he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. Speaking of the outer ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? We shouldn't forget, oh. he still has crucial intel. We forgot about Pearlman. He's still, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought we did something with him in the last, um, in 1.2, when we're in now. I'm like, oh, I thought we did something with him. I know we're not going to have this discussion again. <laughs> you keep bringing it up. I'm like, he's mine. Not to worry. It won't take long before your proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6, so please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story, so 
Let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agent. Oh, wait, back that up real quick. What the? Oh, wait, shoot, that's the volume. Well, through an unexpected turn of it long before you proxies can get that crucial intel from Perlman. Oh, we gotta wait until like a few, uh, uh what they just said, a future installment of the main story. Obviously, since this is a special episode, it won't be talking, obviously, about the continuation of the main story. This is talking about, obviously, the situation that's going on now with Section 6 and all. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. So, let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. How long of time? Huh? We're moving on already. All right, let's dive into the intel on Miss Tsukishiro Yanagi. As you can see, I'm the one giving the info this time. Tsukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S-rank anomaly agent with... Anomaly agent. Oh, she's another anomaly. We had, like, two anomaly agents. Which is uh, Jane. And, um, Bernice. Which, let me, my Bernice, Bernice. And now, Yanagi. I'm like, oh, okay. He's electrifying a electric attacks. yeah seriously doesn't anyone care that i'm the one who got this info she wields a naginata that matches her slender frame in combat she her uses a combination frame. of styles to take down enemies her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance and she'll also get different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Oh, wow, okay. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Banshu state and switches her stance. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack, dealing electric damage. If the target is under an anomaly, Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly while giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she lets loose a flurry of deadly slashes. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side when she gets serious. Agreed, but in her day-to-day -day life, Yanagi is still a gentle person. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh? Got more details to share? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's... Okay, she seems really cool. Like, yes. The all as well, I'm like, wow. Yeah, so she thought like she would really go well obviously they had her have the um, demo of it obviously go well with um bernice I'm like mm. but now we're going on to Lada. let's see he is a fire and he's stunned oh he's a stunner not a stoner stunner like um like on not, why are both of my man stun characters <laughs> they be stunning shift our focus to lighter here comes lighter an s rank fire and stun agent if you saw our last special program you probably still remember this cool dude yes <clears throat> indeed he's a proud member of the sons of caledon no doubt 
With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, Letter's not one to hawk the spotlight. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Lighter faces his enemies head-on in close-range combat. And when his morale is high enough, the fifth hit of his basic attack sends him into an enhanced state. Ooh, I like the enhanced state. In this say. state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. His attacks also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. Oh, fire and ice resistance. <gasps> oh, ice. <laughs> now we think about using him in um like on the same team. I'm just like, the hell? Which, oh, he can play obviously well with Bernice now. I'm like, good, I can put him and Bernice on the same team. Also, when Lighter fights alongside teammates with the attack specialty or his Sons of Caledon friends, he allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. Yeah, okay, good, yeah, that's it. Go well with Bernice. Oh, wait, wait, no, they did wait, didn't, wait. Wait a minute, hold someone. Hold someone, wait. Hits enemies. Not them putting Lycon and I legit just said that. I'm like, I can. I was just saying that for funny. I didn't know they were like going to go well together. But they put Lycon and him on the same team. I'm like, yes. Because cause cause they said ice. I'm like, wait, him he, him and Lycon can go together. I have both my men on the same, like, on the same team. I'm like, yes. <laughs> During combat, Lighter recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Once Lighter is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. Oh wait, that is so sick! Wait, roll it back! That quick? Okay, so he really is good with quick assist, seems like. Once Lighter is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist. Yeah, he just come in pummeling to switch him in he can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks this helps him stun enemies quicker setting up his team for some serious dps and when it's time for his ultimate letter slams the ground with a powerful punch come on ultimate doing massive damage and daze to nearby enemies with his fiery fists and powerful fighting style Lighter sure is a hot one. Uh, right. He's coming home. I already, you already know. As I said, yeah, he's coming home. No ands ands or buts. Yes. So since seems like Miss Ma'am will be obviously she was introduced first, so she's gonna be in the first phase. He will be in the second phase. So good, I can get up all my um crumbs. In the first half for him, in the second half, so we're Gucci. Got it. That's all for our new agents, but let's not forget our new Bang Boo, Baddie Boo, and Night Boo. Not Baddie Boo. Oh, I want to see Baddie Boo. How Baddie Boo look? Two new Bang Boo? Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong game going? We're still <laughs> short two players, you know. Hmm, I don't think so. <clears throat> let's stay on track. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the bang. Oh, that's how Baddie Boo looks. Cute. Bang Boo channel to get the A rank Bang Boo, Baddie Boo. And may also get Night Boo as a reward from the event, The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Just so you know, the only way to obtain Night Boo as of now will be from that event. Baddie Boo is in. Oh, it's only going through. It's only going to be through that event. Are they eventually going to add them to the roster of the, of the A ranks you can get when you pull on the Bang Boo banner? I wonder. A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage with his active skill. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, 
Batty Bull leaps forward and shoots. He look. He does so good with the um the chain attacks. Shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one big blast. Very nice. Now our other A rank bang boo, Nightbull, can summon stars onto the battlefield. Oh, that is so cute. Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. When activating a chain attack, Nightbull summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies oh. trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. Not that that is so cute. Not the Nightbull riding the uh, rainbow pony. And by rainbow pony, I mean the unicorn. With these new agents and Bangboo raring to go, let's talk about signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Sukishiro Yanagi and S rank Yanagi. W Engine Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata will be offering exclusive S rank Agent Lighter and the S rank W Engine Blazing Laurel. I already told y'all, yes. Yes, he's coming home. He's coming home. He's coming home. He's coming home. Second half. As for the 1.3 check in events, each proxy can get 10 encrypted master tapes. Oh, thank. Wait, go back to the tapes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Triple Z team. Continue this just like when um Hoyoverse, not Hoyoverse, Hunkai Star Rail with the um GIF of Odyssey. Yeah, the GIF of Odyssey. Triple Z with um with your um all new program. Thank. You. Continue this. Thank you, thank you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Point three check in events. Each proxy can get 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 boupons in total. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to log in. Also, many of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank 4 with characters. Here are Yanagi and Lighter's dynamic backgrounds. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. Let me see light lighters. I'm gonna see lighters. How's this look? And don't forget the new Bang Boo. These new friends are itching to team up with you all. Oh, it looks like you live just chilling on the bar. With the shades off. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple rounds of mod. The way he's sitting on that bar stool, child. <laughs> Jung before they go join our proxies? Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm, then what topic should we talk about instead? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code, go! Mm, for the people who's live watching this, get your code. Obviously, this will be up um, video format after, so this will not probably be valid anymore. But I already got it though. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. Let's take a look. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter's stories are coming. Right. In version 1.3, our new stories will be available through the themed event TV schedule. This event has unique tokens, which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises and then exchange them for rewards. Ooh. In Sugishiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, proxies can check out Sugishiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. 
Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, The Champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Oh, okay, yes. Each stage will give Lighter a different buff. Of course, we can't let Lighter fight alone. At the start of each stage, proxies can designate an agent as a supporting character. Bernice! Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode, the Simulated Battle Trials. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Apart from polychrome rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the shinier your medal gets. But please keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. And Lovely. your agents won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Oh. Like your HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Yep, and enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials too. For oh wait, let me, um, I forgot. I don't know what it was, uh, um, they wrote it in something. I remember they, t um, it was like an interview they did, something like that. They did start, um talk about like there were like no healer um healers in this game um or characters I mean well yeah in the game no healers and I forgot was it like a um article of interview that um somebody um got stopped with um obviously the people who developed the game and all that and I think they said like there was no like healers and they was like oh they for and the people um. Whoever's who's working on the game, they said they, uh, I think they said they had forgot to like add healers. So I'm like, so I'm like, I wonder when we can be getting like, like, uh, like people who heal. <laughs> Cause that'll come in handy if we are um, gonna be getting stuff like this. That we won't be getting your characters won't get healed <laughs> if we going into these intense higher up in the um levels of enemies. And you, you gotta stay with that exact. I'm like, we need that. We need a character that I can heal. <laughs> ASAP. It's so much dodging I can do when I just slip up once. I'm just like, damn. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wonder when will we get a character that can. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. Uh uh. They're already annoying enough. Why do they need to resurrect faster? Oh, God. I hate it already. I hate it. I hate it. You can keep that. I don't want that. Uh-uh. They resurrect faster. <laughs> You've got to stay flexible with your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. In addition... I'm going to cry. I'm going to go for it. We're adding a new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat power. In addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power, or I mean, their sharp whip. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia, following proxies and providing bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the Blessing Group, chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. 
Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Oh, yeah. and I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Tsukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. Oh, good, I can like test her out like that. By the way, have you heard the buzz about breaded belief in New Eridu? Well, that looks good. They're gearing good. up to open a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. Lend a hand, and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer at the VVV. store. VVV. And who knows, there might be more rewards waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bangbu each day to accept tasks. Take photos for the Bangbu and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Bangbu can be a handful. If you want to check the results of their training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bangbu always appreciate a helping hand from proxies. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. There's also a Bang Boo with a little cart handing out tasks, too. Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard? Sun Z Studio is opening up in Lumina Square. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, grab it and show off your latest finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video store. Oh, this is, oh, okay. We like put stuff on, on the show. We have shows now, that's cute. Treat yourself to something nice. In addition, we will be getting double drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. Oh yeah, I definitely needed this one. Definitely. Since now I reached the high level, which is what is that? I think sixty. Am I um internet? I find and characters now, which thankfully the characters only go up to sixty. <laughs> They're max. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta get characters up that I use to sixty. So I need a lot more of these. So this will come in handy, definitely. Full drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. So and proxies, this. get your farming hats on. In version 1.3, we optimized the layout of the France system, expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Oh, proxies yes. will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. Oh, that's so good. They put our badges on the show off, yes. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, glad they made that an option too for people who don't want to want to display that. Okay. With all those events, proxies. Yeah, that was a lot of. I'm like, damn, how many events were they? I'm, I didn't mean, keep going. I'm like, they were just event, event, and event. I'm like, oh, a lot, a lot of poly, a lot of um chromes. So I ain't complaining. So we'll have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. 
Come on, spill! Oh, more? Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the Go To button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks, which refresh weekly. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. A week after the new version is released. Oh, why is it not dropping on the same when the update? Interesting. I don't know why. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Under the combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. We've added a new Tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages, getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining first clear rewards. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here, too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. That's good. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, Doors and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup, where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives from. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that is. This is definitely will come handy. So you don't have to keep like look like wait they need this I like or because I, I think you gotta click on the agent and go into the uh, obviously their stuff and go to the um the this is it yeah is it called this which is like their arm if you play Genshin Genshin or whoever not whoever Genshin or Hungai Sarrel which is their artifacts they call them this I think or drives I think this but yeah it's like their artifacts. And you gotta like obviously I think it tells you or like what they um or what they suggest like what people are using for them and all that. But now they got this for for you can click on for different um this they use and it tells you it's specific now what for for what character. And I'm like, okay, I like that. So people don't really like know what to put on the certain character. You can just click on it now. each stage when it comes to building your agents we've made a number of changes regarding materials drive discs w engine drive this oh yeah i said it right yeah drives this they were both this i had to say both drive this i was like is it this or is it drives drive this both <laughs> and more for example we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3 in the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the system now checks for materials across levels. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. Provided you have enough necessary materials, of course. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across levels with a single action. That is neat. That, okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna save time and all the interfaces. Okay, they ain't that, they, they, no, they, they ain't up with the, the, um, these, um, optimizations. Optimizations. Wait, wait, what's it called? Optimizations? Yeah, um, life. It's a life. Life something. Changes. I can't think of the name right now, but like, yeah, they need to know. I like it. But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go too. You bet. In version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature to drive disk master copies as well. 
So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get more advanced drive disks. Oh. That really is handy. Oh yeah. And that's not the end of it. Oh, We've added more. a new sort by time to the drive disk menu. Then I can also sort my drive disks by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disk dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive disks when dismantling, making it a breeze to filter disks that you don't need. Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap, and you can select all drive disks of a specific grade or all those marked as discarded. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive disks and W engines. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and bangboo. You can pin your agents and bangboo for the agent menu, remodeling shop, bangboo deployment interface, and more. Mm. Now you can find your faves with ease. And let's not forget about the tweaks in the drive disk selection screen over at the music store. Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Yeah, there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of um, optimization things they did. I'm like, oh, wow. Even somebody I even like notice or knew about. I'm like, oh, oh, that would definitely like lessen all the like the pop ups and all that and screens and time consuming. Like, definitely. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait. Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow. Lady Meow. Don't worry, proxies. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. Boy. Oh. Oh. It's <laughs> that was sick. Okay. But yeah, y'all, that was it for the special program. Turn the music back on. But yeah. As I said, yeah, that was it for um 1.3. A lot of uh new stuff. Definitely with the uh do um like I keep forgetting what that word was. I optimizations. There's another word. Like slice of life changes. Is it slice of life? Like like tweets that they did at the end. I was like, oh like wow, like so much they did to make it like the interfaces like more um flow more easier for new people or people are the vets already who have been playing for how when Triple Z came out July. July, yeah, July. August, September, October. Oh, for who been playing for three months? <laughs> I guess, I just, I guess, almost, almost not. Well, when this come out, it'll be like nine months. So I'm like, not nine months, four, <laughs> four months, three months. It'll be four months now. But yeah. So that is um very neat. And also, too, we get a uh, new episode. Well, yeah, special episode. Which we're gonna be getting to section eight, the group, the uh, faction, and all. Seeing what's going on with the um, this is some uh, about uh, uh, it was a lot happening in the um the trailer for one point three. What's gonna be going on in that special episode we're gonna be getting? So some about a new device, uh, um, and then obviously some baddies, uh, baddies, some um bad guys are gonna be taking like some over or something. and then of course the two girlies that are up there, Miss Mams are gonna be are are gonna be fighting. So for some or something about something so we're gonna have to um see what's that gonna be all about and also too we're gonna be going back to the um out outskirts or outlands uh, outskirts and visiting lighter with his um 
story with his agent yeah agent story and seeing what's going on there which we're gonna be spending some time with lighter getting to know him I'm gonna be eating it up truly and then obviously and also to the events there's a lot of events i was like i'm like how many events they like oh it's just like events after events after. i'm like okay okay getting them um the crumbs so i'm not i'm out of boodle so yeah, it's so a lot, um, a lot with this uh version. So I can't wait to see. Can't wait to put the um episode because y'all know I'm be playing it, playing it for y'all. Because again, for the people who don't know, I um I do be playing the story, the main story of this game, and also do uh other horror versus games, Genshin, Honkai Star Rail. I'll be doing the main story live on um the Twitchy and the Tube. So as I said, like I said in the beginning, if y'all want to um catch those when I do, I do those live. Everything's in the um, description for you. So, yeah. But, again, I hope y'all enjoyed my reactions and everything for this version. As I said, I'm excited to see what, um, what, uh, what the story going to be uh, about. The new characters. The event. Well, mainly lighter. But it's Ma'am, too. She, as I said, she's the baddie. Y'all know, my girlies. But lighter, he got me. He got me. So, I'm sorry about him. And, again, the events and the new optimization stuff. So, yeah. I'm stoked. So, I hope y'all, um, as well, for the people who um do play. As I said, uh, all my stuff, if you want to um, check me out on the other places, on Twitch, YouTube when I'm live, all that, and the socials, again, in the um, description below for y'all. Yeah. So until the, uh, ooh, let me bump in the mic, Joe. So until the next a reaction to Horrorverse or whatever else I react to, until then, bye, y'all.